The lady boiling over is Millie Jackson. At age 37, Miss Jackson is not exactly a household name, mainly because a lot of households would throw her out. Millie's performing style is a mixture of Donna Summer and Bette Midler, heavily seasoned with your basic raunchy rap. Woman go out work hard all day long. That's probably why she didn't bring your ass out with her. Cause when she came home this evening after dealing with the white man all day, she had to deal with some more bull from your ass. I can go out and sing three songs straight, nice, clean, and everybody said, there go. But not until I give them that first nice curse word do I get to yay, you know. I said, I'm gonna go all out this morning and I'm gonna give him some waffles. Made them myself. Well, none of that are your mama. Now, you know I had to love this. Do you know what it's like to have to clean a waffle line? Millie's X rated act is easy to understand. It's motivated by money. When Miss Jackson first started out, she was lost among a bevy of black women soul singers. Not getting anywhere, Millie decided to spice things up. I never had the nerve to say that on stage, the little four-letter word. Well, not the main big four-letter word, you know. I used to say the little F, but I, <laughs> I finally worked my way up to the four-letter word. Now, when you say something dirty, sexual, whatever you want to call it, do you get a kick out of that on stage? Yeah. It's just the shock of doing it, I think. The whole idea. I like to shock people. Be it dirt or be it whatever. It's just the idea of seeing expression on the face when I say it. Whatever it is. But the fans we talked with at the show were anything but shocked by Millie's performance. She's downright gutsy, earthy, funky. She's today. She's 1980. Millie is for real. I think the language she uses is down to earth. You know, it gets her point across. So. If you need it, use it. She seems to put so much of herself into her, her work and her music, her singing, and just like real life, you know, it's as though she's a real experience what she's talking about. Think I better let him go. Looks like I'm headed for a TKO. If all the world's a stage, then Millie's Act Two is decidedly different from Act One. When not performing, Miss Jackson leads a quiet life in Teaneck puttering around the kitchen and watching soaps. But while her offstage style is low-key, it is still uninhibited. She's been married and divorced and has two children, a 14-year-old daughter and a 4-year-old son. Both kids were born out of wedlock and were fathered by different men. Now, a lot of people would say, Ah! Oh, disgraceful. But I can support both of mine. Why didn't you get married to the fathers? Why? I got enough problems taking care of the kids. I got to nurse him, too. <laughs> well, maybe he could have taken care of all of you. No, I'm afraid not. Neither one of them had as much money as me. We tried for three weeks to get Millie Jackson and her children together. After first agreeing to be photographed with her kids, Miss Jackson reneged. And we were not permitted to photograph the children at all. Now, you have a 14-year-old daughter, and she sees you on stage saying these things and writhing around suggestively. What does she say? That's my mom. Hasn't she ever come over to you and say, no. Mom, what are you doing? What no. Is this? Your daughter's never said that? No. Because it pays the bill, and it also pays for her dad in boarding school, and all those other things when she says, my allowance, it calls you to have your allowance. As we mentioned before, Millie Jackson's main thrust is money. In addition to a $550,000 a year guarantee from a record company, she has five gold albums, Millie supervises every phase of her career. Everyone on her staff works directly for Miss Jackson, thus most of her expenses are tax deductible for business reasons. Quite simply, Millie Jackson is one tough business cookie. This is a business where you just don't naturally trust people. Have you been burned? Not really, no, but I've seen a hell of a lot of people around me be born. Even early in your career, you weren't taken advantage of? No. How did you get so smart? Common sense. These are the muscle shows, contracts for the rhythm section, right? Yes. I don't have a manager, and a lot of people feel that if I had gotten a manager, I might would be making more money. But at the same time, the manager might would be making a lot of decisions for me that I don't want. Even though it might be making me more money, I might not be as happy as I am now. I'm going to do what this I want to do in here. 
So, street smarts, a foul mouth, and some talent have made Millie Jackson a rich woman. But she's still not convinced she has it made and always has her old job in the garment district to fall back on. I never left. I'm still on leave. I think they uh, sold the company. They show you how much faith I got in what I'm doing, right? I never left. Do you really insecure about... Uh... Of course. Anyone should be by this business. What you do, you make it when you can and save a little for when you can. How long do you think it's going to last? Who knows? I'll just take advantage of it as long as it does. No one can tell what the future holds. This is it.